Thank you very much, dear friends. Before I begin, let me take this opportunity to express my gratitude to my dear friends, Dr. Raji Chwala, Dr. Shaili Jaggi, and the entire team for giving me one second an opportunity to be part of this very, very prestigious and much awaited international scientific meeting. I am this year given the task of discussing future technologies in diabetes. Every year you have a new iPhone. Every year you have a new Apple Watch. And that itself is revealing the fact that technology is advancing much, much more rapidly at an amazing speed. And I have made sure that I will be discussing only those promising technologies which are likely to be launched very soon for the diagnosis or for the management of diabetes. These are my disclosures. I am pretty sure that many of you could have already procured this television. This is the world's first television with cognitive intelligence. In contrast to conventional artificial intelligence, the system is capable of analyzing multiple components and the functionality is very, very similar to that of a human brain. Yes, very similar to that of a human brain. The future technologies in diabetes are dependent on artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning. So let me ask my partner Siri in my iPhone the definition of artificial intelligence. Hey Siri, define artificial intelligence. Is it going to be a replacement for human intelligence? The answer is no, absolutely no. But AI will have a role. AI will have a pivotal role in five areas in diabetes. In predicting diabetes, especially when it is integrated with electronic medical records and when the data is available for many, many years and decades. It is already there existing with continuous glucose monitoring devices and automated insulin delivery devices. In predicting hypoglycemia, in predicting hypoglycemia, maybe even 45 minutes to one hour ahead of an event, it can predict complications such as diabetic retinopathy. Almost all of us are having devices in our clinics and hospitals based on AI to detect retinopathy. It can even stage retinopathy. In the detection of complications, in the detection and even management of diabetic food, so the areas are ever expanding. But this is another area to customize, personalized diabetes management. Big data analysis, considering the plethora of factors which can influence diabetes care and to choose with the help of AI-powered decision-making, the right therapy from more than three dozen medications currently available to choose the right medication for your person. And that is the perfect example of how AI can be a way to personalized diabetes care. Moving on to continuous glucose monitoring devices. Ever since the international consensus has been published and the recommendations are existing for ambulatory glucose profile, continuous glucose monitoring, and the diabetes care is now largely based on timing range and metrics associated with it. And most of these devices are unfortunately not available in Asia. However, we are also expanding. CGM devices, the Guardian Connect, this has an AI powered, and this is powered by IBM Watson Health. The Sugar IQ, not available in all the countries. Look at this prediction, the Sugar IQ inside. I see that you tend to go high after logging chicken tacos. So it is intelligent. It is intelligent and already this is associated with 780G in our country. 
Medtronic has recently, a week ago, launched the Guardian 4 sensor in India. And for Medtronic, this is the first ever factory calibrated sensor. And this is also approved by US FDA for non adjunctive use. And you can see that this is as accurate as the glucose meter. Freestyle Libre, the new member from the Freestyle family. The sensor is 70% smaller. So this is the smallest and the thinnest CGM sensor ever. And what else is the difference? This is a real time. So the CGM has transformed from on demand to always on. And this is again an integrated CGM. So unlike the other CGMs, this can be associated or connected wirelessly with dosing algorithms in your mobile phone or with other insulin pumps. Or it can be the connected insulin pens. Dexcom G7 already US FDA approved and has reached the markets 60% smaller compared to G6. It is slimmer. It is the thinnest CGM in the Dexcom family. Dexcom is soon set to arrive in India in the month of January, February. The transmitter and sensor will be combined. So it is a combination of both. And the sensor wear time is also prolonged. It is up to 15 days. And this is again an integrated CGM, which can even be used by the DIY community for looping. And what else is so unique? This I happened to listen to this span uh, two weeks ago. The lag time with the G7 is as short as 3.5 minutes. 3.5 minutes. This is one of the shortest lag time. That is the difference between the interstitial and the capillary glucose level. And this will have an implication when you are connecting with automated insulin delivery devices and the overall MAD, overall MAD, that is the mean absolute relative difference which indicates the accuracy of a sensor. Lower the MAD, higher the accuracy. It is as low as 8.1% in the pediatric population when it is applied over the upper arm. So we are soon going to have one of the best and the most reliable and accurate CGMs in the world. Moving on to another innovation, and this is again a long awaited innovation. What about having non invasive glucose meters, biofluid based glucose monitoring systems? Google has tried, Novartis has tried, but many of them have actually withdrawn because of disappointment. And these are some of the examples from saliva, from tears, from sweat, from ISF. But due to many interfering impurities, due to the phenomenon of hysteretic, a lot of other nuisance or disturbances, no uh, reason for accuracy. For sweat analysis, every analysis the person needs to sweat, which is probably not practically, not realistic in diabetes population. ISF measurement, skin irritation is a major issue. But still, there are reasons and there are some of these devices in the pipeline. So I will show you, showcase some of the non-invasive glucose monitoring devices. And uh, this is now commercially available. So look at me. I have this with me now. And uh, this is the uh, non-invasive glucose meter, which I have purchased online. And I won't advise you to purchase it because it is not cost effective. This is around 30,000 Indian rupees. Not worth the cost, but it is worth for the curiosity. And this is the world's first patented high-tech non-invasive blood glucose meter. And there are three modes for normal people, for pre-diabetes and for diabetes. And this is a demonstration in a person, and it is me as a model over there, with no diabetes. There are four sensors, two in the front and two at the back, and you have to Press on, lightly press on the sensors with the thumb and with the index fingers. And within 15 to 30 seconds, the glucose number appears over there. It is almost matching with that of the glucose meter value, but unfortunately keeps on changing when you are repeating the same procedure. However, no pricks, no pain, no blood, no cotton. Uh, however, I am waiting for 
the next generation of the same device e touches there is one more which has hit the market and this is basically an innovation from india blue semi has started from india we tried contacting both uh, since there were no published article but there were no response this revolutionary product is setting up launched at the ces convention at las vegas early this year in 2022 there is something different in eva compared to heat touches eva in addition to the glucose it also measures a total of six parameters ecg heart rate blood pressure spo2 and temperature and this is again based on sensor data no pain no prick and no interventions required amazing advancements in technologies provided this is going to be reliable we are waiting for more data we are waiting for more publications from the innovators till then best of luck moving on to non-invasive continuous glucose monitoring devices and this is again the next revolution many many researchers are partnering with physicians the engineers are partnering with doctors for these innovative products so i will go through some of them which are likely to hit the market this is scanbo another one is based on g wave and fda has granted a fast track designation last year the sensor is inserted in a ceramic lightweight comfortable you can see that it is worn as a wrist band and is based on radio frequency to detect the glucose levels and all of them will relay will transmit the information to your mobile phone we have the graphier non-invasive cgm movano smartwatch you have my sugar watch d sensor and this one is really promising diamond tech and i can i could see a lot of publications based on this they have three different products d base in the preclinical test diamond tech achieved the same accuracy almost the same accuracy as the glucose meter strips and that is quite interesting d pocket the size of a mobile phone we can carry it around d sensor integrated sensor that can be built into a wearable device such as a watch so many of them are getting integrated or built into an already existing smartwatch and this is lively from life plus and watch so almost all of these are uh, similar to a smartwatch and they are developing a sensor you can see the sensor over there which could fit inside the smartwatch band to monitor the glucose levels another one the novio sense where the sensor is placed underneath the lower eyelid and from there it is wirelessly sending the glucose numbers to the smartphone all of them are quite promising very very exciting and very interesting however currently in the market if i am to discuss about the advanced hybrid closed to assistance because all of these are dependent on the continuous glucose monitoring devices basically so you have the three devices which are very popular 780g tandem you have the control iq and then you have omnipod 5 as automated insulin delivery devices of which 780g has become a revolution in india and this has been something which is uh, probably much sort of nowadays and this is a truly a dream come true for most of the type 1 subjects and also difficult to treat type 2 subjects what is special about 780g currently 780g is meant to automate basal levels so basal insulin keeps on changing every five minutes in response to the continuous glucose sensing from the guardian connect and the bonus is also delivered that is something which is very special with 780g if the person is not delivering the right bonus before a meal then the bonus is also delivered automatically every five minutes if the algorithm if the integrated algorithm determines so the algorithm is a proportional integral derivative algorithm and these are the components of 780g if you look at the real world experience from across the world including india india has been recently added on to this almost every person on an average is reaching 76 percent angle range remember the international consensus and the american diabetes association and the attd recommends only up to 70 percent and anything above 70 percent is well and good and here 
with this automated insulin delivery device, you are already able to reach 76% time in range. And this is a response from one of the initial patients. He is a 22-year-old boy with type 1 diabetes for many years. And according to him, this is the first time he has slept peacefully during the night in the last 16 years. And he is thanking 780G for this achievement. And you have to do manual programming. And this is this requires training for quite some time. You have to manually, you have to go for the glucose targets, 100, 110, and 120. And you have to probably achieve a better time in range with no time or minimum time below range and there you have to again go for a manual setting in the active insulin time and uh, this is a, a screenshot from one of our patients where the automated bonuses are also being delivered and this is at 4 a.m in the middle of sleep 0.2 units is delivered automatically and this keeps on getting repeated whenever it is required and no wonder most of the patients in india on 780G are able to achieve a TAR between 95 and 100 percentage. You know, these are the uh, components of an automated insulin delivery device and we are very near to closing the loop. We have reached a stage four of automation and a stage five will be unannounced meal. Stage six, we don't know whether it will be required or not and that will be a multi-hormonal system. And after waiting for more than half a century the patients themselves have started innovate and this has resulted in culminated in do-it-yourself artificial pancreas and if you are enthusiastic in assisting your patients i will request you to go through this review article and this is an extensive review on how to create an artificial pancreas and this review has been referred to this review from india has been referred to by the ADA, EST, and even AS in their clinical practice guidelines. Of course, this is going to be the future. If the technologies and the companies and the pharmaceutical device manufacturers are not going to do this, the patients are going to do this. Because with these DIY, they are capable of safely reaching, many of them are capable of safely reaching a TAR and maintaining it at almost 100% all the time. Yes, 100% all the time. And that's the reason why the American Diabetes Association has stated, even though this is not regulated, not approved, the doctors should know how to troubleshoot and assist if the patients are requesting so. The major challenge with the use of insulin pumps, whether it is a tethered insulin pumps, whether it is do-it-yourself or with the patch pumps or with automated insulin delivery devices, you need to change the infusion set once in every three days. The infusion set reactions are also very common. Medtronic has come out with a solution, a reservoir and infusion set for extended wear, lasting for seven days, lasting for seven days. And they are also working on combining the infusion set with the sensor. And with four easy steps of insertion, very easy, virtually painless, much more user-friendly compared to the commonly used quick side. What is next? The next in technology in automated insulin delivery will be unannounced meals, where there won't be any necessity for carb counting. There won't be any necessity for even bonusing before a main meal or before a snack. And this is the New England, New England Journal of Medicine which has published this clinical trial a week ago. And this is again with islet, the bionic pancreas. And this particular study was based on insulin only system where they have compared with the conventional delivery systems, including some of the sensor augmented pumps. With islet, where only the body weight need to be entered and the rest is completely automated. It has resulted in almost 20% improvement in the percentage time in range. And this is the way forward. Another algorithm, this is a rocket AP algorithm where they have compared against control IQ for unannounced meals without any borders. 
the system itself is balancing by its own. That is an 83% time in range. Amazing, amazing. So this is my concluding remark. Diabetology 4.0. Technologies when compared to the medications are advancing at rapid pace. Both the physicians and the patients, we need to cope up with the transforming technologies. And this is for our survival and for the survival of our patients. Absolutely required. Thanks. Thank you again, my dear friends, for your patient hearing and for this opportunity.